Evening ladies and gentle personages. How lovely is that? This is the RAF Church of St. Clement Danes, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are wondering. Oranges and lemons, said the bells of St. Clement's. This is, this is the church that rows with St. Clement's uh, East Cheap or Cheapside, about which one's which from the nursery rhyme. Then we go to the lovely church and we'll get some more views afterwards. I will indeed close the door after me because it's probably going to be viciously cold. Church crypt temporarily closed to visitors. Oh, that's cheap. I don't have a look anyway and see. Uh, church crypt's closed, that's a shame. But we'll have a look at the main bit of the church anyway. Which is a very lovely one, I'm told. I'm just going to pause you a moment. Well, that's beautiful, isn't it? It does look lovely. This is the, as I say, the RAF Church of St. Clement Danes. And a very spectacular church it is, too. I'll start with the altar first, which is a bit unlike me, but. I'm not sure what time this church closes. Some pools, that's lovely. the pulpit. Now we'll have a look along the side aisles. It's a very impressive church. This is all I've wanting to be, been wanting to do for a while. I need to come and see for a while. Special duty squadrons. Some more coffee.
it's fallen over for those ones, unfortunately. Yeah, there's a wheel goes away, as they say. There's a nice bit of heat coming out of there as well. Christopher Wren, of course. It's going to apologise you why I undo my scarf and that because it's quite warm here. And as my nan would say to me, you'll not feel the benefit of it when you go back outside. There's lots of detail everywhere in this church. and it has been removed, I'm afraid. photograph everything of course but the best bits I will or the most um, momentous or fitting pieces See the, uh, the RAF and badge motif is everywhere on the floor in here, which is very nice to see. That man's story. Pause to read. One of our many heroes, of course. And that was nice to hear those bells ringing as we came in, wasn't it? I won't zoom in on that because there's people's private messages for their family on there. Respect, particularly for any of our heroes, British or British born or allied, is paramount for me, so. I won't photograph all of these either, but I'll just show you as we go around now. Each is a different lesson, or a different, uh, different verse from the Bible. Mm. 
No, it's not. They are names. I beg your pardon. Each one of those are names of airmen, not air force men. I do completely beg your pardon with that. I thought because of the IX it was chapters in the Bible. First class. So I'm in this Louis Norton. No. Stunning old town stained glass is lovely. Look, there's more of it up there. area he is alarmed. It's like a barbarian would do that anyway. Well I bet there are some but there are. That's the galleries up there where the wealthier parishioners were once sat. James Kelly, CBE, MC, MD, wow, so many heroes. Stunning church, lovely. So many names, so many heroes. Making sure I don't bump into anything. Or 
miss anyone out. It's a lot of detail, isn't there? Roll of Honor. We've seen some of the Rolls of Honor in um, St. Paul's Cathedral, we know in the American Chapel of Remembrance. today um Dr. Johnson's house now this lovely church and this isn't just obviously a lovely church this is a place of such great honor for our country and for our allies as well I mean anyone that fought in the Second World War and the First World War we all fought together didn't we The sadness of it is that anyone had to fight at all and has to carry on fighting, but my next door neighbour, Linda, her dad, he fought in the war and uh, he was in Burma, not a very nice place to be. And uh, there was a war film that came on once, and I can never remember the name of it. Anyway, cut a long story short, Linda and her dad were watching this war film, and basically someone said, why do we do this? Why do men kill, or why do men fight, or whatnot? And the man more or less said, as long as mankind has an all in his arsehole, he will always do it. And the bloke went, why? And the other fellow said, because, he enjoy, because they enjoy it. That's awful to admit, but... The Cocktail Collection Curate by Paul Beaver. I'll ask him, um, if I can see anyone, I'll ask when the crypt will be open again. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Well, we had finished everything anyway, so, and it's the rail strike, so they're having to close a little bit earlier. But that's the RAF Church of St. Clement Danes. We'll do our outside views of it now. So, yeah. What are we? 20 minutes? That's not bad. Managed to get most of it done. Um, something that was explained to me with a lot of Wren churches, and I'll explain it to you now, is you see these two, the door there and the door over there. Those doors would be for the wealthier parishioners to go in and up into the galleries, very much like St Anne's in Limehouse, where I went the other day, um, or recently where I did the explore and went up into the galleries and into the bell tower and these doors was for the ordinary hoi polloi people to go through that was uh, part snobbery but part fear the fear came in from the rich because the, the, 
the poor were of course dirtier than the rich and they, the, the rich feared the disease and, the, and what not. They'd lived through the plague, many of them. And many lived through lots of disease epidemics. So yeah, that was done for that reason. But they didn't forget any uh, form of kindness or charities kind of thing. Because a lot of the churches had um, bread tables or bread cupboards or doll cupboards where the rich would go in and they'd leave money and food for the poor. Uh, yeah, slight snobbery, but there we are. Yeah, all well, the railway strikes, the blokes uh, had to leave a bit earlier. So, yeah. We've got a statue over here, a pretty impressive one. Even if I do say so myself. And we'll get some more views of this church. Got a couple of statues here, actually. So, yeah. I am going to pause you just for a second while hat and scarf both go back on because it's brutally cold. Desperately cold. Desperately. Desperately. Right. See you in a minute. There we are. Everything's back on now. Coat, scarf, gloves, the lot. It's viciously cold. And this uh, statue is uh, Air Chief Marshal Lord Dowding. Excellent. I've got, um, I won't say too much, but what we've just looked at and heard, I've got a little something special coming up for you on Christmas Day. It's taken me quite a time to put together throughout the course of, I say, the year. The page is only a year old on the 29th of December, but you know what I mean. Hopefully that will be readable. Chief Marshal Dowding. Take a picture of him. Go over this way if I can. That's better. Yeah, this is the RAF church. There's a statue over here as well, which we shall go and have a look at now. But there you've got the uh, the Royal Courts of Justice there. All the big all the big ones happen here. Schnapp picture of that. So, wait for it to go back because it won't otherwise. And what, who is this gentleman here? We have... Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Sir Arthur Harris, BT, GCB, OBE, AFC. Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Sir Arthur Harris. A little bit faded, but... Ah, oh, there's a plaque, another one here as well. And we should take a picture of the man himself. There we are. And then you've got this even bigger statue here. Oh love, your arms must be fucking freezing. <laughs> Look 
Gladstone. Oh, Prime Minister Gladstone. Queen Victoria's arch enemy. She hated Gladstone and he didn't like her very much. And the thing is, he was a loyal Prime Minister as well. She was quite out of order the way she treated him, Queen Victoria, but... That's royalty for you, isn't it, I suppose? I can't step back any further because the road is directly behind me. Yeah, when they were both very old, both almost going blind, they dug their stubborn hills in, as old people will often do. Oh, how charming. And then you've got the views down there and down there, which is our next location. If it's open, I'm not sure if it's going to be. So, right. This is the Church of St. Clement Danes, guys and girls, the RAF Church. I hope you've all enjoyed this one as much as I did. Um, we managed to get everything pretty much covered apart from the crypt. So, yeah, um, that'll be for another time. And maybe the galleries want to become a bit better known. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Thanks very much for watching.